So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, Speed Medical Institute to mm-hmm. Dr. Vaibhav Kajaria for scoring rank number 11 and DM uh, Respiratory Medicine Group in NEET SS 2022. Best wishes to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. And it's really great and wonderful to see you after a very long time and uh, for a superficiality exam. And uh, I mean, how are you doing? I'm doing good and it's a great feeling, of course, that a great achievement to uh, score such a good uh, rank and a score in the examination. And being from the same background, we know how difficult it is to score a good rank in the exam. So, uh, can I know a little on your uh, brief uh, history in medical history so, so far? Uh, yeah, so I did my MBBS and after that I did my diploma in chest medicine from the year 2016 to 2018 from Calcutta Medical College. And after that, in 2018 to 2020, I was there as a secondary DNP resident at Indraprasth Apollo Hospital, Delhi, and where I was trained under Dr. Rajesh Shavra and then COVID struck. <laughs> As we all know, and the DNB exams, they got postponed. And I cleared off my final exams in 2021, in the first shot, of course, though the exams were delayed because of the COVID. And for last two years, I've been working at Fortis Hospital, Kolkata, as a senior resident under Dr. Shushmita Roy Chaudhary. And this is my second attempt at DM entrance, pulmonology. The first one, just the one previous to this one, I scored somewhere around 70 or 80 rank, which was definitely not good enough. And I did try this time and finally was able to do well. Can I know, I mean, uh, was your interest of doing a DM was before a PG or after doing the PG? No, it was always there from before the postgraduate. Yes. And uh, when did you start your preparation for this uh, exam? So probably the right time would be uh, just before the Omicron, one, one and a half months before the Omicron this year. Uh, maybe last year, November or something, I got the first click that, no, I should prepare well. And that's when I enrolled. But sadly, I could not get time because the last exam was within the Omicron uh, wave and we being pulmonologists, we were extremely busy. And thereafter, in the last three, four months, I have used the pulmonology portion extensively because I knew that this time it will be a pure pulmonology question-based exam. So we had a brighter chance, yes. I mainly stressed on the pulmonology portion of the speed app. What was your preparation strategy? What all you did? So I would say because I have already been in the same field for last four or five years. So we knew that our basics are right in the place. And what we needed was more approach-based considerations as per the protocol. And that is very difficult to uh, get through because pulmonology does not actually have one standard textbook. And they have not been updated for a very, very long period. Through the speed app, it was really helpful because we got all the updates consolidated in one lecture or one theory, which was very important because this time we saw a lot of questions from pulmonary embolism. And if you get a lot of questions from embolism, you need to know the approach, like which patient you want to do a D-dimer, which patient you want, you don't want to do a D-dimer, which patient you want to take up for a CTPA which patient you do not want to take up for a CTPA. So, I mean, those were very important cues which were cleared in a very brief and an excellent manner in the speed app, yes. Great. So, how many questions did you attend, doctor? Uh, I attempted 139 or 140. That was my attempt. So, initially, my strategy in the exam was to first do off all the correct questions that landed somewhere around 110 to 114, which I was absolutely sure about. And thereafter, in the second go, and all those doubtful questions where I have doubt between two choices, those I attempted that were around 17 and 18. So I think around 139 to 140 was the one that I really tried for this. Great. So what is the message that you want to give to the aspirants of uh, DM pulmonology? Keep trying. <laughs> Don't lose hope. Okay. So great, really great uh, interacting with you. And uh, yeah. what is the plan next? So Sir, I want to do my DM in a good institute, of course. And uh, I would, because I was, uh, I'm actually from North India originally and settled in Calcutta. Uh, I would prefer to go back to North India for my, this remaining training. And so probably some institute in Delhi or some metropolitan city like Mumbai uh, to do off my uh, 
I mean, no bond replace. I'm really <laughs> like eager to do a bond now. So I would prefer the no bond replace. Okay. Yes. So great interacting with you, Doctor Roy. Of I mean, it's a very long time. I'm seeing you again, and uh, mm-hmm. best wishes to you and to mm-hmm. to your uh, dream choice and dream branch of DM Pulmonology. And keep going. You, and I am seeing a happy man today. And whatever yes, uh, you bless anyone, it will happen. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. And best Thank wishes. Thank you, sir. From behalf best of the Speed Institute, I bring in all the wishes to you again, and convey my regards to your family and friends and ladies everywhere. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, sir.